The Luke arm, yes, named for Luke Skywalker, is not science fiction anymore. This prosthesis is a very real and near reality for amputees in our state. This is something that people will be able to see in their lifetime. So what we're doing is trying to communicate with the body and the body's natural language. And by doing that, we saw enhanced benefits with sensory feedback. We reach out and touch someone when we love them. And getting that sensory feedback is what allows us to have our sense of the environment and to some extent even our sense of self. Imagine shopping for produce without being able to feel if something's ripe or never really being able to shake someone's hand. This prosthesis and all the math behind it make those small moments possible for an amputee. And we're not quite there yet, but the sense of touch and the sense of movement that we're able to recreate uh, does seem very real, although not quite as rich as what the biological realities are. Along with the arm you can see, the team implants small wires in the patient's bicep and forearm, which communicate back and forth with a new hand, just like a biological one. Uh, if they have it on a surgery on a Friday, they can participate in experiments on a Monday. Right now I'm controlling this with these slide bars that allow us to kind of move the individual fingers one by one. But what we would ultimately be doing is interpreting this information from the, the body and so as a person or an amputee thinks about moving their hand, we would be recording those signals and intuitively providing them with control. The team is waiting for FDA approval on another round of clinical trials, this time where the amputee can wear their Luke arm home. Reporting from the U of U, I'm Sarah Martin, ABC4 News.